lightweight bout. Second fight of the night. Dean Croft versus Mark Diakese. Well matched lightweight bout. Both guys looking in good shape here tonight. Croft the striker, Diakese a submission artist. But of course this is MMA and anything can happen. We'll uh, we'll have to see how this one plays out. Mark has a little bit of history of uh, running on the edge of the rules. Right. So uh, he's occasionally done sort of stomps to the ground and things like that. So I'll be interested to see whether he can keep himself controlled in this fight. Yeah, and we'll see if Croft can stay composed if anything like that comes his way. Yep. Nice composed start from both fighters. I do like to see it when fighters take a little bit of time. They don't just rush in. Yeah, both looking like they're happy to strike here. Croft, yep. obviously, with the tie shorts on. Legion's a good gym in York for uh, tie boxing. So, you know, he's going to be well versed in his striking. Both have thrown quite quite solid leg kicks, outside leg kicks, a couple of nice inside ones as well, so trying to soften their opponent up. Nice right hand landed there as well. Dai Casey looking relaxed. You know, he's looking sharp and, you know, he looks in good shape for a young 18-year-old guy. Yeah. And with the takedown, double leg. Nice takedown, he's caught in the guillotine, he needs to make sure he's defending that. Is Croft half guard, though. Croft got a guillotine from half guard, looking to finish, but Dai Casey is defending well. He's looking to attack the arm and stop the choke from... Uh, coming on there, he looks like he's out of the guillotine. Yeah, yep. I was going to say, Jason, your experience. I mean, you're you're a, a very successful fighter today. That kind of half guard position for a guillotine, it doesn't work often, does it? Uh, if you fall into the right hand position, you can finish a guillotine from there, but it won't be what I'd be looking to do. I'd be looking to recover my guard or get back to my knees. Yeah. And obviously, this fight is amateur, but these guys are fighting under unified rules, so we've got ground and pound in this position. Yeah. But not really taking advantage of it yet. Not so much yet, but maybe he's seeing if he can get a dominant position first before he uh, gets a chance to let off his punches. Yep. Looking, looking for the, the armbar. Beautiful off. little spin. I'm sure he tapped them. He's, he's gritting his teeth. He's, that looks nasty. That arm, that arm look, looks on tight. The referee's got to be careful here. Now, Croft is a defend tough Defend yourself. Dino, defend yourself. Come referee clip, print one Oh, and he's out. It's That's out. Great, <laughs> great by Croft there. There's a triangle there if he takes that. I could see that coming. Yeah, he needs to posture and get out of this. Steps over the head. He's doing well to defend it, and it looks like he's out of the triangle. Maybe yep. Enoma Plata coming. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say the same thing. Dai Casey looking very active off his back. It's impressive to see off a guy at just 18 years old. He I mean, these are the guys, though, that are starting MMA from scratch. So they're not like, you know, the rest of <laughs> the old guys like me that started out in a particular style. Dai Casey's probably just done MMA from day one, so he's he should be skilled in every area. Yeah, he looked well-rounded, his, his striking looked sharp, he got the takedown, and now he's attacking off his back, so certainly looks like a well-rounded prospect here. Yeah, so Croft from here needs to get some space if he wants to throw that leather. He needs to posture up a bit, drop them bombs in prime, Let's try and sort of finish, guys, do advance. some damage. Yeah, if he just keeps his head position there, he's not going to land any good strikes to finish the fight. He needs to posture, try and look to get past the guard to land some good strikes. Yep, and of course he's, he's in danger there. The submissions are a lot easier if... Uh, oh, and there we go straight away. Another triangle opportunity here. Yeah, just as you said, Aaron, Dai Casey looks to look on a submission. Guys. That's the yeah. end of the round, though, and Croft has survived it. Yeah, I think Dai Casey was very, very unlucky there. He managed to find that triangle a little too late. Um, if that had had maybe another 10, 15 seconds at a round, I think he probably would have had a good chance of uh, sinking that in nice and deep. Yeah, definitely. Croft has got some experienced corner men, obviously. He's got Danny Mitchell, who's a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu brown belt in his corner, and a very experienced pro MMA fighter. Uh, Danny will be giving him some stern words regarding his top game there. Uh, I don't think he'll be taking to it lightly. Yeah. Uh, Croft certainly lost the first round, I guess he's looking good, but the second round, anything can happen. Yeah, I mean, it's a 10-9 round to me. I don't think it was overly dominant. It's just, I think, he got the takedown, the striking was fairly even, and obviously it was Dai Casey who went for that um, that tight armbar, and that was a really tight armbar. Yeah, to be honest, I was gritting my teeth sat just metres away from that armbar. Uh, Croft certainly a tough guy, though, to grit his teeth and get through that one. And we resume again for the second round. Dai Casey looking fresh and ready to go again. Croft, you know, he's looking Fight. the same. Happy to get into this second round and see out the first. Another nice, nice one kick, kick to start. Yeah. That right hand's coming in after the kick. He's landed that a couple of times in this fight now. I quite like that as a combination. You know, your opponent gets a, a choice of blocking one or the other most of the time. He got tagged back quite hard then and that forced him to go for the shoot. He's got the takedown though, and uh, Cross looking for the guillotine again, but that's let Dai Casey pass. 
and uh, he needs to stop looking for that guillotine from there and get a better position. It's a dangerous position as well from here because he's giving away various arm locks from this that you can quite quickly switch to. Well, he's given that up anyway, but he could have switched. Oh, he's got, got the back mount. He's looking slick on the floor, Dai Casey. He's got the hooks in, he's got the back mount, and yeah. he's going to look for the choke from here. Now he's got a face bar position here. Maybe he'll use that to lever the chin up. Yeah, both hooks in, nice and tight. Croft needs to try and work his shoulders to the mat, try and work out of there, but that looks t tight. He's got it on the chin, it's not in the neck. Yep, I think he should feed his other arm underneath that to get it round the neck, but he's given it up. Still got his back, though, a dominant position. He perhaps wants to let um, Croft sort of roll to his belly, because if you can get that position when your opponent's flat down, it's a very dominant, very strong position. Yep, and he's looking for the choke again. It's round the chin again, though. Yeah, Croft doing well at keeping his chin tucked and defending here, but he's not really looking to work out of his position. He don't want to stay there for a full round. We've got a long yep. time left in this round. He's not tried any escapes from here. Oh, he's round his neck now, on. he could finish this. And that's a neck crank as well by the look of it, but it's tight under the chin. Croft looking to punch his way out of it, but I don't think that's going to work from here. I think uh, Di Casey should just go back to trying to rear naked choke because now he's got his arm underneath the chin. Yeah, I think he needs to let that body triangle go and go back to his hooks and reset that position. Yeah. Uh, he stayed on top and he's managed to retain the back there. He's not finished the choke, but he's keeping the dominant position. And he's brought him back for that rear naked choke again. Croft having a really tough time on the ground tonight. He's uh, die kisses, he's constantly attacking for submissions. And again, that looks quite tight under the chin, but he's Croft defending well, keeping the chin tucked. Can't quite see whether this is tight from here. No, it's still, it's still over the chin. I mean, Cross doing a great job of, of not necessarily escaping, but certainly uh, avoiding the submissions. Just, Work I think, finish, just guys. by being stubborn more than anything. Yeah, tough guy. I've seen him fight a few times. He's definitely a tough guy, and he doesn't give up. I don't think we'll see him give up in this fight. But you know, he, he looks to be technically uh, the inferior man on the mat. Certainly, and I think if he loses this round as well, it's going to leave him with a mountain to climb in the third. Oh, he's certainly going to need the finish, and he. You know, he's got a long way to go to win this round back. He'd have to do something really special. I don't think we're going to see that in the time remaining. Daikesi doesn't look that like he's going to give the back up. So Some 10 seconds left on the clock. Good, keep him clean. Beautiful. Few punches to uh, soften him up before the end of the round. Yeah, good for the judges. That's a really dominant round that we're ending. Great. Well done, guys. I mean, that's one of those rounds that you've got to make a decision how dominant that was. Was it worth a 10-8? He wasn't close to finishing it, really. It was all across the jaw, but actually, it maybe spent two and a half minutes on Croft's back. That's on, pretty dominant. Yeah, and that is uh, obviously in MMA, that's one of the most dominant positions you can have to keep somebody's back for, you know, the vast majority of the round. You know, you've got to think whether the judges are giving that a 10-8. Yeah. If that's a 10-8, obviously, Dean's got a mountain to climb yeah. in this third round. So let's assume that Cro Croft has lost that round. You're an experienced MMA fighter yourself. What sort of advice have you got to be giving Croft? What do you expect his corner to be saying in this uh, in this break now? Well, Croft needs a finish. There's no way he's winning this fight on points. Uh, he's down by two, maybe three points. So he needs to come out and look for a finish. He needs to try and avoid the ground by the look of it because his uh, die kiss is all over him on the floor. So he needs to look out, look, come and look for a knockout punch or kick. But yeah, he's, he's got to do something, and so far he hasn't won the ground game, so it's got to be on, on his feet, I think, that, that he's going to have any other success. Thank you, yeah, And that's when it comes Hi. down to the wrestling game, see if he can keep this uh, this fight standing. And obviously, oh. Dyer Casey's looked no slouch on the feet either, so nope. that Re won't be easy. I mean, wrestling really is king in this sport. You, you, it's the wrestler that decides where the fight's going to go, so, you know, um, I think the, f the guy with the strongest wrestling in this third round will be the guy that will be able to get the nod from the judges. Yeah, definitely, and that's and a big Dyer tip Casey. down Dyer Casey. That's just pure timing, Croft comes in, and Dyer Casey just times him, picks up the big double leg yep. and gets into side control. He came in nice and low, managed to get, get Croft's weight over his shoulder. It makes for a very easy slam if you can get to that position. And he's looking to pass to the mount, Croft scrambling. Nice. Dyer Casey on Skip top, his gets back the again. back again. Oh, let's see if he can keep this position. Looks for a suplex, but manages to get the takedown, yep. and he's on top. He just went for that sort of drag down takedown, which you, you see a little bit more often in suplexes. It takes a little less skill and, and uh, flexibility to do that. I think we were just hoping for the suplex. Yeah, for the highlight reel. Yeah, suplexes are cool. <laughs> and he's got side control, got a good cross face. Croft is going to struggle to get out of here unless he can work that underhook a bit more. Uh, the cross face makes things really uncomfortable, and Dai Kissy, you know, he's looking strong on top. Yeah, I mean, the danger is with Dyer Casey, the problem with a crossface is it, it does take away one of your weapons, especially when you've got headshots. 
And, you know, he doesn't want to give Croft the chance to get back to his feet. He needs to stay busy so that he stays on the ground. If he does that, he'll get a shutout victory. He'll have won every round. Dave Casey not really looking to strike on the floor. Uh, it's his, I think this is his first fight with ground and pound. He's not really letting the strikes go. Looks yeah. more content to advance position and look for a submission. There was a little bit of a warning from the referee there to, to improve and advance his position. He needs to unleash some shots. He needs to try some submissions. Croft time to work to his knees from the half guard. Dave Casey, he's, uh, you know, he's doing a good job of keeping his hips in and keeping Croft pinned to the mat. He's got him crushed against the fence there. He can use that cage to stand up, though, Croft. But Dave Casey goes to the back. Uh, he's been taking his back for fun here this evening. Yeah, and he's looking strong when he gets there. You know, Croft isn't looking like he's got an answer. It doesn't look like he's got an escape. But, of course, Dave Casey failed to finish this fight in the second round from back position. This has got to be a credit to uh, Croft's durability. Dave yeah. Casey with his first three wins, he's undefeated all three wins by submission, and he's been all, all over Croft with the submission game tonight, but Croft is staying in it and he's not allowing himself to be submitted, he's keeping his chin tucked, yeah. and he's, uh, he's looking to see the fight out, even if he's not going to get the win from here. I'd like to say, oh, nice back reversal. Into the guard. Now he's got an opportunity here, he could posture up, he could throw the big shots, he can look for that TKO stoppage. Needs to clear the attachments, get the posture, and look to let some shots go. Ten, ten seconds left, I don't think he's going to have enough time to do any, enough significant ten damage seconds. here. Ten second round. Left hands to there. the body. I think that's over and done with. Time. Yep, well and done, that's the fight. end of the fight. That looks like a victory for Dyer Casey, in I, my eyes. I agree, let's see what the official result is. So three rounds of action. We've got the young 18-year-old Mark Dyer Casey yeah, there. No. <laughs> Looking yeah, strong prospect. Wood, Just 18 years old. That's his fourth fight. And uh, by the look of things, that's going to be his fourth straight win. Yeah, right. Ladies and gentlemen, in our second bout of the evening, after three hard four rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. And they see this as a unanimous decision for your winner. In the blue corner, Mark Dyer Casey. Put your hands together for his opponent this evening, Dean Croft.